what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this video but before we get into this video i would like to say happy memorial day to everyone who celebrates this day enjoy the festivities with your friends and your family and be safe out there so guys i wanted to come on here real quick and this video won't be that long by any stretch of the imagination but there's a lot of negative talk around tina turner and she hasn't been passed away for two business days and so basically I just want to talk about Althea Turner, who was married to Tina's son, Ronnie Turner. And she just recently come out and talked about how Tina warned her about her son, Ronnie, and the fact that Tina was afraid that Ronnie would become just like Ike when it came to DV and DA. We all are privy to what Tina Turner went through with Ike Turner. So I want to read to you guys what Althea had to say about what Tina expressed to her in confidentiality. And it says here, Athita Turner is sharing new details about the struggles her mother-in-law, Tina Turner, endured before tragically dying Wednesday at the age of 83. The French musician, who was 46, revealed that Tina feared her son Ronnie would turn out like his father Ike, who put the proud married singer through years of A.B. during their 16-year marriage. Tina sometimes told me you don't want to stay with him. He's going to be like his father, Athita told the Daily Mail in an interview published Saturday. It's pretty rare for a mother to say that. Her fears of Ronnie inheriting Ike silent, and I'm paraphrasing here, you guys can read what it actually said. Silent tendencies nearly came true, Althea said, admitting the 12-time Grammy winner's son initially exhibited similar traits. Althea married Ronnie in 2007. At first, he was kind of like his father, but after that, he was going very well, Althea said, recalling that she warned her late husband, who died of colon cancer back in December at 62, that she would leave if the behavior continued. He made a big effort to keep me. In the beginning, it was very hard because I was not willing to stay with him, she added. All right, so my opinion on this particular matter is the fact that Tina just died on Wednesday and you're sitting down with a major publication on Saturday in the Daily Mail to discuss some things that you and Tina talked about behind closed doors. I just don't think it was the appropriate time. Now, let's not forget to bring up the fact that you probably got paid to do this interview, which is a whole problem within itself. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not a blogger. You know, most bloggers don't care about these celebrities. They have no emotional ties to the celebrities that they're talking about, right? Doesn't make it right that they jump on the internet and do what they do at the end of the day. I try to govern myself accordingly and be respectful when I'm reporting on these celebrities. But in this situation, we're talking about someone that was actually family. You were her daughter-in-law, right? And I understand you're not biologically related to Tina, but at the end of the day, by marriage, you are family to her. And it seems as though that you were so eager to report on some things. And I'm pretty sure that more things are going to come out because it's clear and evident that Tina did not leave you in her will. And again, this woman hadn't been dead for two days and you're already doing an interview talking about your mother-in-law right you should have let this just sit and simmer i understand that people have their truths that sometimes you just need to get off your chest for your own mental stability and i get that in its totality but it just comes across blatantly obvious that you're trying to capitalize financially off of the passing of your mother-in-law now i could be wrong she probably didn't get paid to do this interview with the daily mail but whether you were paid or not you could have just waited at least six months to a year to talk about things that Tina talked to you about in private. That's just how I feel about the situation. Now let's move along because on social media, right? Tina Turner is getting raked through the coals. People are calling her a sellout. People are saying that she doesn't even like people that look like her and things of that nature. So what I wanna do right here is play you guys this clip that has social media in an uproar. A lot of people are angry with Tina for her position on this particular matter. And so after I play this clip, I'll be back to talk to you about how I feel about the situation. So sit tight. We know we came like from Africa and sort of our attitudes and our way of life sort of esteems from the African way. And they, I think like this sort of, uh, well, I, I'm only speaking now like from something I haven't really looked into, but I get that um, Africans are sort of very lazy people. They're not very aggressive. You know, they just sort of want to live off the land and, and they're very comfortable which is great if you can do that, you know, if you're in a position to be able to do that. But I um, I felt that they enjoyed our performance there, but 
I just I have to be inspired by something when I like when I go to Europe I enjoy it because the people there are very fashionable and you can see it's just fun I mean all we do is work we go we check in a hotel and we go on stage and we go to the airport so you have to feel some kind of inspiration from a city right so when I when I go like to Africa I'm very down because like the, the food is isn't good um, I don't get any really good fantastic vibes from the people so I'm just really bored all right, so you guys just heard that. Now, this particular clip right here is surfacing all over TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And there are a lot of negative comments about Tina Turner that I refuse to actually put here on my platform to read because there will be no Tina Turner slander in my presence. Now, I believe that Tina was being honest about her experience when she goes to perform or when she went to perform in Africa. And so basically she was just being blatantly honest, right? Tina has always been truthful and forthcoming about her relationship with Europe and how the fans over there treat her. They treat her like royalty and that's why she moved to Switzerland also because of the fact that she was dating her husband who was also from Switzerland. But Tina has always said on numerous accounts that the people over there in Europe treated her better, her albums did better over there. They have such a level of affection and appreciation for Tina more than they do here in the states so tina just fled to where she was appreciated and so i feel that tina just didn't feel that level of appreciation from the motherland and so she just said what she said now i don't agree with what tina said so i want to make that abundantly clear but at the end of the day she said the same thing that people from the motherland say about you know people that look like us here in america that we're lazy and things of that nature so i mean eye for an eye you know listen i'm just saying right but in closing i would like to challenge all of these people that are making these derogatory comments about tina saying that she was a sellout that she didn't like her own people to check these rappers out here over the years that have used tina's dv and da issues that she had with ike in their music making fun of what tina went through tina has also been on record and said collectively that people over here has made light of her situation with ike and that was another reason that propelled her to move to Switzerland. She didn't want any parts of the states because basically they didn't give her the respect that she felt that she warranted. And also, Tina has relentlessly spoke about on numerous occasions her struggles as a woman, a melanated woman, trying to make it in the music business in the 60s, the 50s, 60s, and things of that nature. I don't think that Tina turned her back on her people. I think that Tina just told the truth about how she felt about situations and things of that nature, and people just can't handle her level of honesty. But anyway, I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.